band or this is the resistance band there we go all right hey welcome back to another video i'm just bringing it bring you into another workout this resistance band is going to work as some assistance to alleviate some of the weight or strain when it comes to performing the dip so if you're a beginner um the heavier the resistance the better the lighter the resistance that's going to it's going to be a little bit more challenging so i have this here for my dips i'm definitely trying to work myself up and get some muscle mass or gain regain my muscle mass dips are compound movements pretty much working the entire upper body so don't skip out on it if you're a woman it's a great exercise to add to your regimen all right so real easy and it's important not to lock the elbows when I come down. Slow and control movement. I'm not allowing the band to control Look at me. me as I bounce back up. That's pretty much it. Whew. I wouldn't have been able to perform that many dips without this. So this is definitely a good aid and a great confidence booster as well. So this is another assistant band, or this is the resistance band. It's gonna work as assistance or some assistance when performing the pull-up. So this is a great confidence booster too if you're building your upper body strength. Your back is involved. So I had to readjust this because it was too low. So let's do this again. No need, I just need something to step up. Normally I will hop up. Okay, I'm gonna use this as a step up. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Hop up. Place my feet onto the bin. And all right, before I pull up, I'm going, instead of having my shoulders in a forward position, retract it back and down and now i'm going to have my arm positioning a little wider than shoulder width that's going to help give me that v tapered look i don't want to have my hands positioned too too wide if it's too wide what happens is, is it allows more strain on the it puts more strain on the shoulders so i want to avoid having my hands too wide and i want to avoid having it too narrow which that lowers my range of motion. So having it a little wider than shoulder, I mean, having it a little wider than shoulder width, gonna retract my shoulders again, instead of having it forward, bring it back and down, lock it into place to prevent any type of injury. This helps with that nice hourglass figure. And I wanna control when I go down, I just don't wanna be bouncing the entire time because that definitely takes away from the point of doing a pull up. Contract, pull up, and then come back down. And this is a compound mo movement as well. It helps to work multiple muscle groups and the upper body gives you that V taper look so that you can be a stronger individual when it comes to training. So I'm gonna superset the pull-ups with the dips. Going back over here. And um, if I wanted to increase my heart rate a little bit more, adding jump rope in between or some type of complex movement like a squat with the shoulder press or something like that. And I'm trying, the key is not to lock the elbows. It may appear as though I'm locking the elbows, but I'm not, trust me, that you wanna prevent injury at all costs. Okay. And if you're wondering how tall I am, I'm 5'1 and a half. See, now this 
hand placement is not so narrow to a point where it restricts my range of motion. But this focuses more on shoulders without allowing too much strain on the shoulders as well. Whew. bring you into my breakfast naan bread with avocado toast super beneficial if you want to just for some of you who are not a fan of eggs high in nutrition you have your healthier fats mono and polyunsaturated fats will helps to lower the back cholesterol and increase the good cholesterol so i had that for breakfast had it with some enriched flour but i know exactly what i'm gonna use it for the weight training that glycogen storage that's in my muscles and in my liver is going to help to push me throughout my workout routine so that's going to be a, that that was a plus to doing that and pairing that carb this may be a little bit advanced but pairing that carb with the fat slows the insulin spike so without having a, a high insulin spike and crashing right after the healthier fats help to control that so that was another reason why i had that as a breakfast option and sometimes what i like to do is i like to pair with either matcha or organic coffee the reason why i use organic coffee is that it has um it doesn't have the harmful pesticides coffee conventional coffee has the highest amount of pesticides almost to a point where it's unhealthy. unhealthy. So I like to have the matcha paired with my breakfast instead of coffee some mornings, because what it does is it has a lot of properties in it to help to control my mood, um, not give me that crash as caffeine would alone. The, the EGCG not only controls the mood, but it's also responsible for fat burning, a natural way of fat burning. If you guys don't know the benefits of green tea and the difference, check out my video beforehand or do your own research you don't always have to take my word for it again do your research if it's something that you like you want to invest in and try it yourself we have it available in our store upholdnutriment.com it has the turmeric paired with it along with the black pepper to increase the absorption so that was my breakfast so i'm gonna get back to it this boostful ball it could be anything you can use a uh, regular step up or whatever you have the step up one is i don't know if i mentioned before i hear five one and a half it's closer to five two i had to throw that half in there <laughs> to let y'all know <laughs> but in short the again to pull yourself up control it bring it back down this is a little bit higher than we measured it beforehand. It was too low, now it's a little bit higher, but what I'm doing is I'm controlling it at the bottom so I won't bounce back up. And I can get the most out of the pull-ups. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to hit like, any comments, mention it in the, <laughs> in the comments below because that definitely helps the channel, helps to increase our viewership. So we want to get our message out there to everyone who definitely needs to help.